face up, face down. Stay on guard, face up, face down. Play your strongest card. This video is going to be about chains in Yu-Gi-Oh! Chains are the combination system in Yu-Gi-Oh! Much like the stack is the combination system in Magic the Gathering. Chains work by cards being played one after the other until neither player has any more cards to play. A chain then resolves in reverse order. The chain cannot be interrupted while it's resolving. Some effects do miss their priority due to them being in the middle of a chain and missing their chance to activate. Other effects do actually activate after the chain has resolved and immediately start a new chain. Chains are used via spell speed. Spell speed is how you determine when a card can be activated. Now there are three types of spell speed. Spell speed 1, spell speed 2, spell speed 3. Spell speed 1 are effect monsters such as triggers and ignition effect monsters and normal spell cards. Spell speed 2 are quick play spells, trap cards, and effect monsters that activate in response to something occurring. Spell speed 3 are counter traps. These are the only spell speed 3 keep this in mind. Now what do these spell speeds actually mean? Spell speed 1 may only be activated as the beginning of a chain and can only be activated during your turn. Spell speed 2 can be used to respond to spell speed 1 or spell speed 2 effects. So if I play mind control, say I can respond with a trap card my opponent can respond with a quick play spell. I may be able to respond with an effect monster and they can in turn continue to chain amongst other spell speed 2's. Similarly, if I start with a spell speed 2, I can chain with other spell speed 2 cards. I cannot, however, chain with a spell speed 1. Spell speed 3 is the end of a chain. If I start with a 1, I start bouncing around with twos. If I hit a counter trap, which is a spell speed three, the only thing that can then chain on top of that is a nether counter trap spell speed three card. So if I activate Solemn Judgment in response to one of these cards, the only thing that can be activated in response is a nether counter trap. Now there are always going to be some weird rules around chaining. The first and foremost that many people already know about but should be covered is priority is no longer an actual thing. What I mean by that is for a number of years there was something known as priority wherein if you summoned something, a creature with some sort of trigger ability, uh, a ability that you choose to use once per turn, that you could choose to use it the instant it is summoned. Therefore, it has priority to use that ability before your opponent can do anything. This ability no longer exists. Meaning, if I summon a monster which has a once per turn ability, I have to wait until my opponent has a chance to respond before I can use that effect. Even if it's something that would say negate a spell or trap, or prevent a certain type of card from being used, if it's a spell speed 1, I have to wait until my opponent has a chance to activate an effect. The only exceptions to this are things that occur when a monster is summoned. So if it says when this monster is normal summoned, special summoned, blah blah blah, you do a thing. But if it says once per turn, you don't get to until your opponent has a chance to respond. Quick plays have a weird ruling to them, and we're going to discuss that right here. This is the most common quick play you'll ever see, which is MST, which gets used quite often both back in the day and today. MST has a very simple effect. You select one spell or trap card on the field and you destroy it. Very simple. Quick play spell. There are a couple things about quick plays. First, they are speed spell too. Secondly, quick plays can be chained from your hand, but only if it is your turn. So if I have this card in hand, 
they activate a trap or they activate an effect I can chain MST from my hand this works for any quick play so rush recklessly which is a quick play that boosts something by 700 attack they activate an effect I chain to boost some creatures power that all works the other thing to keep in mind is yes while they're set you can activate them as a spell speed to in response to something however as opposed to say normal spell cards if I set a normal spell on the same turn I set it I can activate it however quick play spells if you set them now basically become traps you cannot activate a quick play spell the turn you set it yes you can play it from your hand directly yes you can chain it from your hand directly but the minute you set it you commit to being set you cannot then use it on that same turn now when your opponent's turn comes around yes you can activate and blow things up but the turn you set it no continuous effects let's say I have King Tiger Woe now he says while he's in play all creatures that are 1400 or less attack are destroyed they're just destroyed you know it's a continuous effect it's constant if my opponent summons something of a low attack value King Tiger blows it up this isn't starting a new chain this is a continuous effect now if my opponent has something specifically dealing with an effect like this then yes maybe they might have a response to it but as a general rule I this card is summoned it blows up that's just how it is in turn continuous trap cards have a little bit of a disadvantage say I'm playing I have this in hand I attack with my monster in response he activates call the haunted and he wants to special summon a larger creature I can chain MST from my hand targeting and blowing it up the creature is never summoned the card goes away and nothing really happens from it continuous traps have to stay past resolution to do anything so if you have a continuous trap here until it resolves it doesn't actually do anything so there was a card back in the day called Imperial Order which was a continuous trap that negated spell effects but it didn't have an effect until it resolved therefore MST could blow it up before MST would be negated by Imperial Order now summoning and responding to summoning I already sort of went over it but I'll go over it a little bit more when a monster is summoned a summoning does not start a chain however when a creature is summoned you have an opportunity to respond to the summoning let me reiterate this does not start a chain this is merely summoning a monster there are spells and traps and effects that go off when a creature is summoned those start a chain in response to the summoning but the summoning itself does not start a chain now when a monster is summoned first the summoner has an opportunity to activate a spell or trap first so if they summon something and activate a trap in response to the summoning on their own side great they have all right to do that then it goes on to the opponent to see if he has a response to the summoning or a response to a spell or trap activated by the summoner if neither player has any responses then the summoning resolves fully everything's good now summons that have a continual effect uh, this is a bad example but say Jinzo who negates all traps he hits the play he's continuous so when it comes to the opponent of able to respond he can't respond with traps because Jinzo is already in play and he's a continuous effect 
costs and timing. Costs in themselves, say like Solemn Judgment or say Cybernetic Magician. Cost will be the first part of a card text. This one is pay half your life points. This one, discard one card from your hand. Those are costs. Costs are not part of the chain. Costs allow you to play the card, but they in themselves are not part of the chain. So, what I mean by this, if you play this, you immediately pay the cost in order to be able to activate the card. If this card is then negated, destroyed, you're still out the cost. The cost was part of being able to even use this card, being able to activate it. Therefore, if it's negated, you still lose the card because you tried to activate it. Also, since it's not part of the chain, you can miss timing on cards. Say, Dark World. A lot of Dark World activates when they're discarded from your hand. However, an effect that has discard as a cost, such as Cybernetic Magician, does not activate Dark World, because Dark World has missed its timing to respond. You discard the Dark World card for the Cybernetic Magician. Or for the Cybernetic Magician's effect, I'm sorry. That effect that I just activated on the Magician starts a new chain. That Dark World has already missed out on being able to start its own chain. Because I've started this effect, this one has missed its opportunity and fizzles out. Anything that would activate in response to the cost, unless it specifically states that it activates in response to the cost, will not activate. Chains in themselves are not scary. You merely have to learn 1, 2, and 3. Spell speed 1, spell speed 2, spell speed 3. The most difficult you're going to get is when it comes to quick play spells. Thank you for watching this video. I'll have another Yu-Gi-Oh! tutorial how-to fairly soon.